we are yet again off to another spot. We're heading to this old school in Barrow, which we've been to a couple times and I've actually been in another video, but Jeremy and I are gonna check it out today and get some, like a bunch more footage of it. Hopefully set up the drone. The weather's not so great today, so it's not raining down there and it's not too windy, we'll stick up the drone. If it is, then we'll just get a bunch of land footage and some walkthroughs and everything. So yeah, enjoy. Hey. Gay pride shirt. I'm fucking disputing the transaction. Why? Because their screen said 11, yeah. and then they add a surcharge, but it doesn't show up on the screen. That's odd. Like it's a, like as soon as it approved it, yeah. then it pops up on the screen. It's like 12:40. It's like it's a get 11. About an hour and a half drive, and the weather's looking shit. Mobile, huh? Yeah, we probably will get done by a mobile speed camera. Right? The weather's looking fantastic. Of all days we chose today. Of all days. So we are here. Beautiful land of Barrel. I'm about to go in. So this place is an abandoned school down southwest of Sydney. It's about an hour drive and the entrance is absolutely stunning. As you can see, this place has been abandoned for quite a long time. Uh, it was the original reason for it was a shooting, pretty sure, in the main hall, which um, we'll show you soon. But uh, I think Jeremy knows a bit more about it as well. In like the 70s, uh, some guy came in here and he took all the schoolgirls hostage and I don't know what happened but I just know that one of the girls he kept hostage died. It was a pretty big event back then and I think it had something to do with why they were so quick to ban guns. There's actually fresh motorbike tracks coming through here. So we're going to be careful. I always get the feeling here that someone's here with you. I don't. I don't know what it is about this place. I don't like it. It's such a bad vibe. To it, it does, eh? It legit feels like someone's watching you the entire time. So, here's the main hall. This is where the shooting happened, I believe. No, no, no. Wasn't it this building? Where was it then? you reckon this building is? Home. Home. Got a chalkboard there. Fireplace. Even a tunnel. Look a little like... Reckon that was like firewood or something. The rounds are huge but the school's not even that big. There's a um, there's a basement in that one which I've been in once. It's pretty spooky. I've never knew that one. Yeah, sketch as though. It's probably flooded. So you'd think for somewhere that's been here this long, it would be a little bit more destroyed, graffiti, but guess not. It does give you the creeps this place though. Jeez. You have to actually be here to feel how like creepy this place is. I guess because it had so many kids in it at one point. But it just feels like they've walked out. Even Macquarie Boys is as creepy as this. 
Yeah, even the old Macquarie Boys Tech High that used to be in Sydney was nowhere near as creepy as this. So there is actually a used warehouse right there. So it can't be... That was a rabbit. Whoa. Um, do you see what's on the floor? Jeez, what happened here? Someone stole the wood. It's fucking wood off the wood. Someone stole it, you reckon? Looks like it, eh? Is this asbestos? I want to see if we can see people. Yeah, look at all that. Jeez. bending under you. Look at the roof in there. Whoa. That's proper collapsed. Exactly why we wear masks doing this. So there's so much asbestos in these places. You've got to watch out. Imagine doing it overnight here. I hate this building. It's creepy as eh? I mean like how oh, fucking normal is it? Shit doesn't look old. Yeah, it's from the 60s. It was when I came here last there were bullets. I know that someone's really put them there. How come all of the windows are smashed right and there's nothing like this? It's fine. Those windows have been gone for fucking years. No water damage. You got fucking chunks of the wall taken out. Have you seen any actual damage to this building? Even though everything's open. There's just something about an old school, I reckon, that makes it so much creepier than anything else that we're going into. I guess this was dorm rooms or something. I might be wrong. Old washing machine. That's some kid's like, fairly new bike. What the hell? Yo, I haven't even seen this room. This is so burnt as well. Is it? This, I love these windows, these like curved areas, it's so sick. So this is an old kitchen, obviously. Doesn't look that old actually, does it? I mean, it, pardon? The school shut down in 74, that's from 91. What? How does that make any sense? What happened to you after? I don't know, it was never used again. I don't think it was never in the towels on for ages. If anyone knows the actual story of why this place was used after the school shut down, just comment it because we have no idea, honestly but this oven has actually got 91 written on it. So school apparently shut down in, what was it, 74? Yeah. 1974. Does that look like a 74 oven that you look at? No, it's definitely not a 70s oven. So clearly it was used. Maybe it was used as accommodation or something. But check out those back rooms, they're all fucking sketch. Yeah, these are sketch as. This is a whole level up from the other place. You like it. And there's new additions, including they have actually tried to fix some of the roof at some point, probably still 20 years ago, minimum. But it's pretty interesting. I wonder what they had planned. This is actually sick. We're sitting on a ledge of a balcony. And the view. So we're gonna leave now. Apart from the fact that it still feels like we're being watched. We went through most of it. So that's where the ladder was. 
think the only thing that would top it off now is if we see someone just in a window or something, which would be hella creepy. But yeah, it's a pretty sick spot.